So this is the Freddy Snellis podcast. He's the, one of the most in, intelligent people that does podcasts. And I think I just started this. I haven't listened to his podcast in a while. And what he's about to say about this year and everything, I think is the most accurate description that I've heard. And he says it in less than a minute. It's like, oh, wow. Here, we'll just listen. This is Brady Stanellis. You're listening to the Brady Stanellis podcast. And we're recording this podcast on July 2nd, somewhere on North Doheny Drive, just below Sunset Boulevard. In the last days of June 2020, I again realized we were at the midpoint of what has been, without a doubt, the most depressing, frightening, bizarre, ridiculous, enraging, and tragic year that I've lived through. And I am 50 fucking six. Now, I'm not necessarily depressed or that frightened, even though I find the way the news of the world is presented to us as a very depressing and enraging thing. Facts and statistics are ignored in favor of people's feelings and emotions. The slanted narrative is the narrative now. Nothing seems to matter but the message and not the truth. Because the truth is real and it hurts and it doesn't fall into line with the way we wish the world was. And so we have to change it and rewrite it regardless of the facts. Like, where are you getting your facts? From what someone said or from what you read somewhere or from, or from some article that you found that everyone's texting to each other? Like, I don't, I personally don't, I can't believe anything I don't know what to believe. Three people texted me an article of a guy who was 30 who died of coronavirus after having a coronavirus power party. And I'm like, I don't fucking know what that guy died of. Right. Like, I don't fucking know. Like, I don't know why you're so quick to believe what you read, especially right now when everything is fucking bullshit. And what makes sense to me is that if you follow the money, you're going to get people that have the most power. And if you don't think that they're manipulating all the news sources, all the blogs, then you don't understand how ill they are and how crazy a game of chess this whole thing really is. So don't fucking send me any more articles because I don't, it's just, I believe what I see, okay? And I don't see anything happening that's that crazy. I, what I see is like, it's basically like, the flu and everyone's freaking out because the news is saying it's bigger, a bigger deal than the flu um, so that we can um, all stay home and collapse the economy. And um, it seems to me like there are just some, some really powerful people that really want Trump out of office. I don't know, that's, you have to think for yourself, you know, think for yourself. I'm sorry, I don't know. I, I, I don't, I really don't know, but that's just what I think. Oh, and another thing, don't hate me because I have a different opinion than you. Like, if I sat here and said I'm a Trump supporter, you're going to hate my guts. Let's not do that. I'm not saying I'm a Trump supporter, but like, let's not do that. Let's let it be okay for other people to have different opinions. And let's not be so quick to cancel and to judge each other. Yeah, I feel that way about how everyone says like, Wear your mask, stay home, you could kill someone. And if yeah, like they hate you. But I have a different opinion than yeah, you. Yeah, I have a different opinion. I so feel like I. this is the time for everyone to be building immunity and not living in a bubble and getting a little bit of, because the virus is real, but is it real enough to shut the world down? No, I don't, I don't think it is. Yeah. I really don't. So, and Same. there's nothing that you're going to tell me that's going to make me think it is. I'm going to get, we're going to get a bunch of messages. New coronavirus cases record high in Florida with 15,000 cases. It's like, I don't give a fuck about that article. I don't care. I, I just don't care anymore. Like maybe in six months, everyone's going to be like, look, Pat, you were fucking, look how wrong you were. And you know what? I've been wrong before. I can be wrong again. Let's just not hate each other for our opinions.